and welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney, and today we are doing a wrap-up of my fall capsule wardrobe. So, um, I mean, we're into winter here, and in fact, after I've gone through some of these clothing, they're going to be going up into my guest room closet because it's just too cold now to wear um, some of these items. I live in Indiana, and it gets cold. And I also feel like... <laughs> With our weather this year, it was, you know, a pretty warm fall, and then we had just a couple weeks of fall, and then it was, like, winter. Um, like, very abruptly, which is not normally the case where I live in Indiana. Normally, we get a pretty, a pretty good fall and a pretty good spring um, before the weather gets, um, you know, too severe. Our winters are really long here, but... <laughs> But uh, anyway, that just wasn't the case. So I, I don't know if this is going to be like a super long winter. I don't know. Anyway, quite a bit of this and I'll go through uh, my thoughts and what's going to be going away, um, you know, until the weather warms up, what's going to be staying. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about um, winter going forward and also my um, just some of my basics and stuff that are also in my wardrobe. Okay. So I'm just gonna go through. I will leave a link. Um, I did a whole like my fall wardrobe plans video. I will leave a link up to that below, as well as I did a week's worth of my fall capsule wardrobe where I highlighted all the outfits I was wearing for a week um, in this capsule. And I will leave a link up to that video as well. And I will link both of those in the description box down below if you wanna go have a look at me kind of talking through everything. But I'm just gonna go through the entire thing because I've got everything, obviously, that's gonna get made is all here. <laughs> there are a couple of things that I didn't get made up, but that I am putting on to my winter um, capsule. So um, I don't have my winter capsule planned out, but we'll talk about that here at the end. All right, so let's, I've got my little sheet here um, so I can, you know, go through all these with you. So the first thing you guys have seen is my cream itch to stitch logo. This is just a tank top. Um, it's in a rayon, my, the viscose, excuse me, the viscose jersey from Minerva that I just love. Um, this is kind of a racerback-ish tank. It's a free pattern from itch to stitch. This just works really great as a layering piece. Um, however, I'm probably going to put this away for now. Um, my knit tops get folded up and put in drawers. Um, they do hang, my knit tops do hang in my closet for the season. It just makes it easier for me to find what I need, but then when they go out of season, they get folded and put away in drawers. So that's kind of how I store those. But here's my Lago tank and just, it's a, I mean, it's a wonderful breathable viscose jersey. It's just, this does not provide me enough warmth even when I'm layering a whole bunch of things. And if I'm layering a whole bunch of things, I want a more fitted tank than this. So this is gonna go away until the spring, but it's worked phenomenally for uh, this time of year. Next, I had planned on making that kind of cobalt blue Concord. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting that made up. That will take me maybe 30 minutes to make that up, maybe 10 to cut it out. And it's, the fabric is prepped, it is, ready sitting over there in the pile everything just keeps jumping in front of it but now I'm to the point that I'm just gonna wait until the spring <laughs> I do that fabric will become a short sleeve concord but just today's not the day and I have this navy um, v-neck concord that I've been wearing um, this fall and this will continue this will stay in my wardrobe for um, winter as well because it's just a great staple it's also not sitting on the nope on the hanger very nicely here Okay, so navy blue Concord, and this is in the, um, gosh, I can't remember if this, if this is the cotton jersey from Minerva or the cotton jersey from Stylemaker. I love both of them, and they were both in that um, fabrics that I love uh, checklist links, but this is the navy one. All right, next is my salmon colored Carlisle. This is the cashmere at Carlisle, um, which is their v-neck. It was, oh my word. I hate these plastic hangers, and I don't know why this is hanging on one. My husband likes them, so they are in our closet. I prefer the velvet ones. <sighs> okay, this is my um, Carlisle. It's my square neck top in this beautiful um, kind of coral uh, cotton modal jersey from uh, Stylemaker Fabrics. Love this top. This one's going to go away, though. Uh, it's just the neckline is too open for the winter. I just get cold. So this will go away until the spring. Love this top, though, and this got worn a ton this fall. I love the color. Okay. Next, my cream Adrian with the beautiful eyelet sleeves. This one's also going away. 
um, for the warmer weather because I cannot easily layer these sleeves because they're just too big. So um, I love this top though. <laughs> this will definitely, all these will be coming back in the spring, but for now this one's going to go away and um, yeah, I've been wearing this a ton. I love that. I'm so glad that I made that top. Um, okay, next is my graphic tee. This is my Kansas City tee. I'm not sure if this one's going to stay or not. I love the colors in this. It's just this is a very thin t-shirt. So even when I have this layered underneath, um, you know, my jacket or my um, blazer, I don't know, or even my cardigan, it can still be a little chilly, but I don't know. It may stay. It may stay. I have a... Um, Walt Disney World t-shirt that I bought. I bought like a men's 2X when we were in Disney because they had brought, it was the 50th um, anniversary for Disney when we were there back at the beginning of October. And um, they had a whole bunch of their retro t-shirts from 1971 when the, you know, the first batch of t-shirts that were released when Disney World opened. And so I bought one. It's not it's close to my yellow. It's maybe a little, not quite warm enough to be my yellow, but I loved the Walt Disney World logo that was on the front. And I have done my hack to it where I've used the con um, cash or gosh, closet core, core t-shirt pattern to recut it and make it into kind of a boxier crop t-shirt. Um, so we'll see if that one, I haven't even picked my colors yet for my fall or my winter wardrobe. So that one may replace this one, but um, for now this will stay in the, I won't put this one up yet, quite yet, but I, yeah, this one's a good one. An homage to my hometown of Kansas City. Okay, um, next my striped Concord. I mean, this one gets worn a ton. This is gonna stay because <laughs> it gets worn a ton. Um, I also have a cream long sleeve Concord that's also in my wardrobe. It's just not included in this for some reason, but it's always in my wardrobe as well and it'll be staying. So another long sleeve t-shirt staying. Um, next we've got the, my, um, terracotta Stanton. I mean, I just, it's the Stanton. I love this thing. Um, this one will be staying. I mean, all of my Stantons because I, I love a good sweatshirt in the winter. Um, I still have my navy blue Stanton that I'm going to be making that doesn't have the hood. I'm just going to do my hack where it's just the neckband. Um, that's also sitting with the cobalt fabric, um, both of which would, um, you know, cut up and sew up super quickly. So they're just still sitting there. <laughs> They'll get made up here at some point. Um, but yeah, this will stay in my wardrobe as well. Um, I'm, again, I'm not sure what my colors of my winter uh, capsule are going to be. So I don't know if this will necessarily be capsule, but it will still be in my wardrobe. All right, next, my salmon colored Seychelles top. I have loved wearing this all fall when I could. This worked great with the shorts and it worked great for a time um, with my pants, but it is just too cold now. So um, my itch to stitch Seychelles in this beautiful See You at Six rayon or viscose um, chalet, rayon chalet, whatever you want to call it. Um, this will be going away upstairs into the upstairs closet. I mean, I feel like you've seen most of this stuff. This one is a new make. So you guys haven't seen this one. So I'll show footage of me in this one. <laughs> this is my newest, um, uh, ba it's a basic for my wardrobe. This is the Cashmere Montrose. And I've just done the, you know, I was debating on what sleeve to do. And I went with just the straight sleeve. It's right above my elbow. I decided to go with the scoop neck so I could easily get it on and um, off over my head. Um, it's just a beautiful shell top. And I mean, it's just going to layer wonderfully. So this will stay in my wardrobe because this will go under my cardigans, under my blazers, um, and all that with pretty, you know, ease, with ease. So, which is why I did just the regular, um, got fuzz in the stitching on here. How did that even happen? Um, anyway, it's just, a, it's a standard woven t-shirt, but I love this pattern and I love this one. It's in the viscose, uh, crepe from Minerva. And this is, I believe this is one of their core range fabrics. So this one's a really good one. And it, it sewed beautifully. I have, um, quite a bit left that of scraps that I cut into bias strips. So, um, I finished this off with bias neckline and then also my hem I finished off with bias can you even see that there we go so I'm very pleased with how that turned out and I just did a little narrow hem on the sleeves um but love how that turned out and just you know such a good little basic and then finally the last two tops are my ivory classic shirt this just came out of the wash it's very wrinkly <laughs> 
Um, so disregard. Um, but yes, my ivory um, Lisa and Co. classic shirt. This will be staying in my wardrobe as well. I've been loving this with my um, cream vest that you'll see in a second. But I've been just wearing this, you know, uh, I mean, it's a, my, oops. It's white for me, this winter white or cream or ivory. And um, yeah, I've just, I, I wear this all the time. So that'll be staying. And then my Banana Republic poppy red sweater. I love this color. Um, it's looking a little worse for wear. Um, let's see, what do we got on here? I just got this last winter though, or spring maybe? Oh, and I cut the tag out. I can't remember what the fabric content is. Um, but I do get compliments every time I wear it because the color is so good. So this will stay, I'm sure, for um, winter. And then we'll reassess. It's just getting really pilly. Um, and I don't normally hang this. So this actually does live in a drawer. Just so you guys, I have a, those drawers in my closet when I showed you my new closet. Um, and this does live in the drawers. I just hung it up for the purposes for today. Okay, next are my toppers. I have my Aria Shacket in the Mammoth Plaid, Robert Kaufman Mammoth Plaid. I mean, this is, yeah, this is gonna stay because this is like a warm hug every time you put it on. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the colors in it. The blue and the red go right on with this color capsule and blue and red are often in my um, color palette. So I would assume that these will be in winter as well. Um, so anyway, red's kind of my statement color. And you guys have seen that. I did the um, tutorial, the hacking tutorial on how to make this one. So you guys have seen that. Um, next for toppers is my knitted um, Friday V-neck slipover um, by Petite Knits that I knitted. This also doesn't hang. I always get people like, oh my gosh, I hope you don't hang that normally. I don't. This actually lives in a cedar chest. So it stays folded and it lives in a cedar chest. I just have it hung for um, purposes to show you guys today. But you all have seen this. I have been wearing this thing so much. I love it over t-shirts. I love it over my button-up shirts. Um, it's just a lovely piece. I'm so glad. Remember when that I had the color differentiation and then I blocked it and everything kind of worked its way out? So glad that that all worked out. <laughs> All right, then we've got my Harper Cardigan that you guys have seen a million times. Sinclair Patterns Harper Cardigan. Um, this is in a sweater knit from Stylemaker Fabrics. I don't think they have this sweater knit anymore, but they're, um, there's a reversible, um, it's like a rib knit on one side and then like a brushed on the other would be beautiful for a Harper. And they do have that in the Navy. So um, anyway, this is a free pattern as well. I wear this thing all the time. It's gonna wear out at some point. It's pretty pilly. <laughs> I wear it a lot. Um, but I think we're still good for the winter before I need to remake that. Um, and then these last three, let's see, make sure we're all, yes, set that there. I have my two Metro Blazers that you guys have seen, my red one and then my plaid one. You can see that fabric up close. So this is kind of a rust and black together. Um, in that plaid, but it comes off camel, so um, it works. I love this one. I love both of them, and my cream one. Metro Blazer for the win, a knit blazer. Um, yeah, you guys have seen both of these. I did a Metro Blazer um, video back in the fall, and you guys saw those, but oh my gosh, so good. And this, um, oopsie, this blazer, I was supposed to do I was supposed to do the um, a plat or a Jessica blazer, but I decided I'm going to do a solid Jessica blazer. That'll happen this winter. Um, so I decided to do this one in the plaid instead, so I could get a plaid blazer in my wardrobe. And I'm so glad I did. I've worn this so much. I still am going to be making that plaid, the not plaid, um, the solid mustard Jessica. It's just going to have to wait until the new year because life, <laughs> life happens. Um, and then finally for toppers, this is. Oh, those, both of those will be staying in my wardrobe for winter. This is my um, Fiber Mood Avril jacket. This was part of a Sew the Look that I did. I love this little jacket. It's so good for the fall. Um, it just made a great little layering piece. Obviously, it's just too cold to have this in the wardrobe now, so this will go upstairs to live until the spring. I bet, I, I bet this gets worn so much in the spring. <laughs> it's in this beautiful tinsel twill from um, Stylemaker. And um, not only do I love it with the dress I made it to go with, but I, I, again, I've just thrown this over jeans and all sorts of things. So this will be coming back in the spring, but going away for now. 
All right, and now, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I just have seven bottoms here though. Yeah, because I didn't get one pair made up. All right, so for my bottoms, first off, I have my blue Magna pants. These were the ones that, um, from the Head of the Curve, Cashmere at Head of the Curve book that I made into wide legs. Love these things so much. They got worn quite a few times. Just such a sharp looking pair of pants. Um, these are going away though for now because they are just too thin. Um, this is a beautiful, I think it's a tinsel twill um, from Minerva, but it's just too thin. The wind cuts right through them. So these will go away until the spring, but I, they will definitely be coming back. Um, when the weather warms up a little. Then I have my Madewell Flare Jeans. These I bought. Um, I did the tutorial on how to hem your denim. These just came out of the wash and sometimes that hem likes to flip until I teach it who's boss. <laughs> I've been wearing these a ton. I just think it's such a fun silhouette change and um, yeah, these will obviously be staying in my wardrobe through the winter. Okay, next up were the um, the plaid that I was picking between for the Jessica and the Upland trousers, and I decided to do the plaid for the pants, um, but I have changed that completely. Instead of doing the Uplands, the Itch to Stitch Uplands in that plaid fabric, I've decided to do the uh, Cashmere at Miriam trousers that have been released, and I'm going to line them. So I will be doing a video, again, that's going to be pushed to the new year, but I will do a video showing you how to line a pair of pants that are not lined, because um, I'm going to be using that wool, but that, yeah, so that'll be happening in the winter. I will be using that plaid fabric that I had picked. Um, it'll go really great with my Jessica. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm doing, because Cashmere released that new pant pattern. I'm very excited to try it. <laughs> I have it printed um, in the other room. Uh, I had it printed on the big um, format paper. I sent it off to the copy shop um, to PDF plotting. So it's all set and ready to go. Just need to cut it out and get that going. But that's going to have to wait until after the holiday season because time's just running short, people but I will be doing a video on how to line those pants. So instead, I snuck in my um, my salmon colored cotton twill glissandos. These are, um, oh gosh, I made these with a Distachify fabric. Love these, but they're cropped and they're gonna have to go away till spring. But I really enjoyed wearing these this fall. Um, it's just too chilly, my ankles get cold. So <laughs> these are moving on until the weather warms back up. All right, next up are my J. Crew white jeans. Now, I love wearing white in the winter, and um, I bought these back last spring, and they're okay. I'm not in love with these jeans, though. I wore them, um, but I have, my weight has stabled out a little bit more again, so they're big on me, and they're meant to be a more relaxed jean, which is what I wanted, but I think, I don't know, I'm gonna hang on to these until the spring. I'm probably not gonna wear these this winter, put them away until the spring, and then I'm gonna reassess and decide if I would um, like to invest in a different pair of white jeans or even make myself a pair of white jeans, um, which could definitely happen. There's some patterns that I would love to try, and uh, white denim is pretty easily to get your hands on. So, um, I yeah, these are up in the air. They're gonna go away for now. They're just gonna go live up in my uh, guest room. Um, I don't think I, I just haven't worn them very much recently, so they're just gonna go up. Um, into the closet for now. And we'll reassess in the springtime on those. Next is my Navy Balboa skirt. This is in the classic Ponte from um, Style Maker Fabrics. I did a video on this one um, on how to line it with the power mesh so that it kind of skims over your curves. I've worn this to church a few times. I just don't wear skirts very often in my day-to-day -day life. I wish I should change that. I wear dresses. Um, I don't know why I don't wear skirts more often. But uh, anyway, this, I, this has come out a few times very handy for church. So this will stay in my wardrobe because um, I can, you know, throw this on over things uh, for any kind of dress up activity. Love this color of blue. So the Balboa will be staying. Next are the corduroy pants that I thrifted. These did not fit me at the beginning of the capsule and they do now. So like I said, my weight has stabilized a little bit. I have autoimmune issues. If you're new to the channel, I have autoimmune issues. And so um, lots of things can make my weight fluctuate wildly, um, but I'm stable at the moment and these are fitting me so I'm not retaining as much water and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can see it in my face always when I'm up or when I'm down. <laughs> But um, anyway, these are fitting me really great right now. So these will stay because I'm wearing these a ton. Um, I'm so glad I spent the $14 on them. These did not fit me great when I first 
consigned them. I got them from a consignment shop, which if you're not in the US, it's kind of like thrifting, but they're sold secondhand clothes, but usually um, a little nicer quality. These still have the tags on them when I gra grabbed them. So I paid $14 as opposed to paying, you know, $5 at a Goodwill or a thrift store. So uh, anyway, I've been wearing those. Glad I grabbed them. And then finally, my resolution joggers in the athletic knit. These have been worn so much. I love these things. Um, I still need to shorten the leg a little bit on them. <laughs> that might happen at some point. Um, and I had another pair that I was going to make in the uh, camel um, athletic knit. And it is still, it's over in the pile with the Stanton and the Cap Concord uh, t-shirt. So it will happen probably this winter, um, but I just haven't made those up yet. I mean, these would be such a quick, easy make. I just need time. <laughs> But I've been wearing the, this pair a ton. And I'm sure I'd wear the Campbell ones a ton. All right, and then finally, I have my dresses. I've got my Tessa. This is also, this is the same Ponte as the Balboa. It's the same fabric. Um, this is my Tessa sheath dress. I mean, this is just so great, especially this time of year. Dressing up, dressing down. Um, it can be casual. This is my little black dress. This will be staying. I mean, it's just such a great piece. Here goes that. Next is my Aria shirt dress hack. I've been wearing this quite a bit, mostly to, um, you know, church and nicer gatherings. Although I've, I've worn this, you know, like if I wear it to church, I'll, wear, I'll keep it on all day. Um, I just love this dress. I think it looks very luxe. And I wore this for Thanksgiving. This is the dress that I had on at Thanksgiving this year. Next is my Stanton hoodie dress. Um, I don't, this will stay downstairs in my closet, but this may come off the hanger and just get folded. Only because I don't wear leggings. I just, I don't own, I have just a couple pairs of athletic leggings. This would be perfect over a pair of leggings, but um, that's just, I like this better with bare legs. Um, I just don't wear leggings a ton. I feel like I look disproportion easily in leggings because um, I'm bigger on the top than I am on the bottom and I can look off. Um, I may keep this, I mean, I'll, I'll keep it in my regular closet because um, I think I will, I mean, you know, I might wear it with my fleece line tights. Um, I think that could be kind of fun. And I don't know, there's, what's the difference between tights and leggings in my head? I don't know. Um, I just don't own leggings. So maybe that's it. Maybe if I actually had a pair, I would wear them together. <laughs> but since I don't like myself in leggings, I just don't have a pair. Um, so yeah, I'm on the fence about this one. I love this dress um, and this will definitely be coming back in the spring, but I'm just not sure if it's going to what how much duty it's going to pull in fall or in winter so this one might just go away until the springtime and then i have my wanderlust i'll put footage of me in this one i mean you guys i'm wearing a wanderlust right here as well love this dress by pattern emporium um this is the same fabric as the metra i grabbed enough for both of those pieces Ugh. So this has been in my wardrobe pretty much all fall, and um, I got this one made up pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, I've been wearing it a ton. I just, I feel so pretty in this. <laughs> and it's such, it's an easy knit dress, so it's easy to dress up, dress down. Um, again, I'm just in the house wearing this one today. It's cold outside, so I'm wearing my sweatshirt one, but um, I mean, this one's pretty warm too in the Ponte. Love this dress. And then finally, I've got my Harmony in the, um, this is a viscose twill too from see you at six i love this fabric i think it's just a really fun dress um i'm gonna keep this one in my closet for right now but it is a little thinner like the wind kind of cuts through it a little bit more the same with this one the wind does cut through it so i'm gonna leave them in my closet for now and just kind of see if i find that i'm layering them enough to be able to wear them this winter you know put on tights and stuff but these those two may end up you know getting put away for a little bit until the weather um, warms up just a tad but um but they the colors do lend themselves really well to this time of year so we'll see on this one i do love this dress though it's so cute i love it with my white blazer um or you could put it with navy i mean it's yeah this is a great dress so there you have it. Those are all of the clothing pieces that are oh, that are in my fall capsule wardrobe. 
So that is kind of it, kind of the wrap up of everything that ended up in my fall capsule, including the things that I had kind of talked about making that just didn't get made up. So, um, cause that happens, you know, and that's the beauty of being a creative, right? You can <laughs> change your mind. <laughs> um, so yes, I am again, going to be making that Jessica and the Miriam trousers have just been pushed to my, um, winter capsule. So you will be seeing those in the winter months. And, um, yeah, I'm just really pleased with how my fall wardrobe worked for me. It just worked really, really well. Okay. Going forward. Um, I'm honestly not sure what Everyday Styles plans are for the capsules. They've released their style circle. They did that at um, uh, Black Friday, and, but which includes the capsules, but it also includes a lot more as well. And um, I actually have access, I mean, I have bought all the classes that are included in that. I realize it does include things, you know, like um, a community group and all that kind of stuff that I think is fantastic. Um, and then there's like a planner and all that kind of thing. Um, I just did not opt in for that, but I would still like to buy the capsules. So I think that they're still going to be offering the capsules. Uh, the winter one is not out yet, but um, I'm, I'm watching the website. So stay tuned. <laughs> Because uh, I would like to get planning on my winter capsule and usually she, you know, it would be uh, this week, maybe next week that that comes out. So um, stay tuned. I will be putting together, regardless, I'll be putting together my own winter capsule. Um, I just like it when she gives me the, you know, I like to buy those because I like the framework and I uh, do occasionally buy things off of those. Um, usually I buy at least a couple of things, usually every season, whether that be accessories or a pair of shoes or sometimes like a sweater or even a pair of jeans, the jeans I bought off of the capsule this for the fall. Um, you know, just things that I actually need in my wardrobe and don't necessarily want to make. So, um, yeah, stay tuned on that. I've not decided on my color palette yet. I like to kind of see what she's doing because then I riff off of that um, with my own color card. Um, I would assume it wouldn't be too different than what I've got going on here for my fall, <laughs> but it's fun to mix up the colors just a little bit as well. Also, my basics chest checklist. I kind of, I did a video earlier in the fall on some plans I had for my basics. Probably when I get into winter, I'll talk about a little bit of more of a few more of the basics that I want to add in that are a little more winter related um, as well. So because I did make a few things up for the fall, this Montrose was one of them. The Concord t-shirt that still has yet to be made is one of them, but <laughs> happened. <laughs> and there's a few others that I just I don't have yet in my wardrobe that I would like um, for the basics. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in the winter. And I'm thinking the past couple of capsules, I've done a video where it's a week worth of outfits. But for the winter, I'm thinking I'm just going to do YouTube shorts of either a week's worth of outfits, you know, in one short or um, I don't know that I would do it daily. That seems like a lot of work, but I would take footage daily. I just don't know that I would put it out daily. Um, but that is kind of one way I see myself using the shorts feature for uh, YouTube. So don't worry. Um, I know a lot of people were like, I don't like the shorts. That's fine. I totally get that. And the content over here will be staying the same. The long format videos will be staying the same. Nothing will be changing. <laughs> I'm just going to be adding some of the shorts I think in as well. So that could be a fun way for me to show how I'm wearing the winter capsule as I go through. Um, so then maybe it would just be a winter pl plans video and then kind of like this, a winter wrap up at the end of the season um, with those shorts of what I, how I actually wore it, wore things throughout. So that's kind of what I'm thinking going for the capsule, but I will have a, um, at the beginning of the winter capsule, I will have a PDF for newsletter subscribers. So make sure you're signed up for the newsletter. Um, because you don't want to miss that. It's a, just a, your own fill in the blank checklist. And I also attach my own. So you can use that as a framework if you'd like, just to see what I'm doing. Um, obviously I do a video on that too. So, <laughs> you know, you can, you can look on all of those things, but definitely make sure you're signed up for the newsletter. I'll link that down below. Also, I have a couple of fun little PDFs coming out this month. Um, kind of it's gift season, you know, so a couple of gifts, one of which I had asked for recommendations as I'm driving back and forth from Missouri, um, taking care of my mother. Um, I asked for recommendations for murder mysteries because I love, I was really enjoying listening to audiobooks while I make that trek. It's an eight hours 
one way. Um, so eight hours there, eight hours back. So I've been really enjoying a lot of the recommendations you guys have given me. But I thought it might be kind of fun just to compile that. I was taking notes as people were giving those to me and I had a huge list. So um, Ginny's gonna put together a whole PDF. If you're interested in what everyone else had to say, if you also love mysteries, if you like listening to audiobooks or reading them or whatever, um, but I'm gonna be putting that into a, um, I think the next newsletter, actually, there'll be a PDF with all those recommendations. I've not read them all. These are just recommendations from the other viewers. And then at the end of the month, um, for the final newsletter for 2022, um, I also, when I did my video on fabric stores that I love and fabric substrates that I love, I was I asked for people to also list some of the their favorite fabric stores so around the world. So I took a list of that as well, and I thought I would stick that into a PDF for you guys if you're interested interested in trying out some other fabric stores or having a look. So these were fabric stores that maybe I haven't tried out yet, but ones that other viewers had recommended. So um, anyway, I thought that might be kind of handy to have as well. So make sure you sign up for that newsletter if you haven't already. And uh, we've got some really fun and exciting things. Also, lots of fun and exciting things coming up for 2023, and my newsletter subscribers are the first ones to know about all of those. So um, yeah, make sure, you're, make sure you're signed up. All right, this video got long. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope you're having a wonderful uh, Tuesday, and I will see you guys again on Friday. Have a good one. Bye.